Breaking this morning, a manhunt throughout Western Europe is underway for those responsible for reigning terror in Paris. French prosecutors say three teams of gunmen and suicide bombers carried out the devastating attacks that killed 129 people and wounded more than 350 others. Breaking this morning, a car with suspected links to the Paris attacks uh, has been found in police, uh, by police rather in Montreux, a suburb nearly four miles east of the French capital. A French prosecutor said seven of the Paris killers are dead now. Police are searching for an eighth and possible accomplices. And developing this morning, that trail led them to Belgium, where police made three arrests that linked to those attacks. Meanwhile, mourners, thousands of them in France and around the globe, are reeling with the violence. And we're certainly feeling it here as well. One victim, a student from California, Nohimi Gonzalez, was just 23 years old. This morning, we're also hearing from President Obama for the first time since his initial comments, speaking at the start of the G20 summit in Turkey. He said, quote, the skies have been darkened by these attacks.